G'day everyone, it's Tom Tandiger here, or as I like to call myself, Victoria's main far left wing activist, T. Stevens! I don't give a fuck. What has been doxxed may not be doxxed again. Anyway, Tanaki's just a, um, a Japanese folkloric figure, a yokai. It's a shapeshifter and it uses its nutsack as a parachute. Google it. Anyway, it's been a big year. Thought I'd do a very brief uh, wrap up of some of the highlights of the shit that I've somehow got myself mired in this year. Let's take it away. So the year started with a shit bang. Uh, Channel 7 did a rally. Uh, they organised a rally for a bunch of racists to go to the beach in St Kilda, which they all did. And when they got there, they were all a bunch of fucking idiots like these two dead shits. Um, my favourite highlights from that rally were when one of them, when he was listening to Blair Cottrell speak, he yells at, he goes, Wah, fuck you, I won't do it, I tell ya! Which was really cool because it's like a misappropriated Rage Against the Machine line that he got wrong in any event. Um, and here's me at the time talking about my other favourite line as well. It was a real doozy. He goes, why you travel over the fucking world and stay there? Anyway, um, immediately afterwards, a big old tsunami came and all the racists got dragged away into the ocean. So that was, um, that was a surprise end to that one. Fast forward to the end of January and we had the Australia Day rally, which, you know, as, as, as per the past few years, a million people rocked up to. And that was really, really cool. Um, it was really, really nice to be in attendance there and to be on the lookout for Nazi dead shits. But there was really only a few small handful amongst the tens of thousands of decent people there. My favourite bit was doing a video um, in the lead up to it and um, doing this little skit. I did it with my mate Natty, who's a sick cunt and who will probably be involved in some way in the podcast in the new year. Anyway, have a look. I'm sorry for everything. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm white. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, please, I'm sorry I'm white. <laughs> Next thing you know, the Lobster King, Jordan Peterson, um, was set to, to attend and to dispense invaluable life advice to weepy young men. And um, so, yeah, I did a bit of a rebrand as Youth Advice and Reasoned Dialogue. And we went along to his event in Melbourne to dispense uh, invaluable life advice um, to the attendees of the event. I know they're all hiding in their ideological echo chamber <laughs> behind that window, which is really unfortunate, but I'm here to advise them with Yard. Yard, Youth Advice and Reasoned Dialogue. It doesn't fucking stand for yelling at us. Stop! <laughs> Stop it with this multiple realities shit. There's one absolute <laughs> truth, you fucking postmodernists. <laughs> Anyway, right after the event, a huge tsunami hit the uh, Melbourne Conference Centre and um, Jordan Peterson was swept away, so that was the end of that, really. It was at about this time that anti-fascism and um, the world's attention coincided with the most tragic Christchurch massacre that happened in March. And um, our grief quickly turned to anger when the then-Senator Fraser Anning decided to try and capitalise on the massacre by blaming it on the victims in order to curry a bit more favour with his white supremacist uh, demographic. So we at Yard were all fucking furious and we knew that Fraser Anning was organising a speaking tour the very next day in the middle of an industrial lot in Moorabbin. So um, on very short notice, about 100 Yardies came down and screamed unholy abuse at those assholes, which was fantastic really um, and in the middle of all that there was a young man who came along and he said to me I've got a bunch of eggs in my pocket and I said to him um, what are you going to do with them and he said I want to egg Senator Anning and I said to him oh don't do that, that would be really dangerous he has a neo-Nazi security detail and he said to me uh, okay then but he didn't listen to me and he became egg boy and I thought that was a really fun and powerful moment at a really grief stricken time for a lot of people around the world Thank you, young man. But around that time, this kind of cottage industry sprang up of like media and academic experts on the far right. And in that context, the ABC's Four Corners did a show um, documenting or attempting to the rise of the far right uh, in Australia and uh, at one point in it they put old footage from me um, in the Million Flag Patriots 
and with an accompanying voiceover that kind of implied I was Brenton Tarrant. <laughs> Including Brenton Tarrant. The UPM page has been deleted by Facebook. So I wrote an article for Independent Australia saying that that was horse shit and then Andrew Bolt obviously had realised that Million Flag Patriots was a thing and, and uh, implied that the left had run out of racists and um, uh, needed some more. So good on you, Bolter! But around this time, I was privileged enough to be able to attend the Japwarung Embassy and record what was a bit of a mini doco that I made, really, about the um, uh, one day in which, you know, every thought, one thought that the uh, Vic Pole and the bulldozers had arrived um, to remove all protesters and uh, Japwarung locals and also remove the tree so that they could install a highway there. And, um, uh, you know, they weren't successful in that on the day. And I got to interview Auntie Sandra Onis and a few other people at the area, and it was really, really nice. There's two things that they have been destroying in this country for 240 years, and that is our cultural heritage and our people. And that's the end of the day. If you keep taking out the ones of the earth, you won't have any oxygen properly to breathe. There'll be no food to eat. And you can't eat your money. Nanzac Day rolled by and myself and Nick Burns released the latest crop, the 2019 crop of the um, Letters from Our Diggers seri series, which is some of my favourite stuff from this year. Um, here's a clip from one of my favourite ones about your fucking granddad. So what does your granddad do? He leaves his gun, leaves his uniform and swims naked back towards Anzac Cove Fucking starkers. But then he forgets where Anzac Cove is, doesn't he? So where does he swim? He swims back to Australia instead. Now, I don't even know how he managed to do that. That is 13,000 kilometres. Nobody can even swim 1,000 without dying. Then the federal election time rolled around. Um, here's one of my favourite little memes. Um, that some dead shit patriot type did from the election trying to say that uh, look here's Bill Shorten with Briggs and then there's Bill and there's Briggs with me and then there's me burning all these flags on a clothesline in 2016 so that actually means that Bill Shorten was technically burning flags anyway I just love it it's these it's these little moments that keep me going um, so, uh, the, um, or, uh, uh, um, then, uh, I'd, uh, debat, uh, bloody, I'd, uh, debat, uh, bloody, I'd, uh, debat, uh, Look, over in the world of anti-fascism, we were mostly interested. Our, our, I guess one of our main direct interests was in thwarting the, uh, rise of Fraser Ranning. And through various means, like research, info dumps, talking shit, a whole bunch of things, um, egg boying, and so on and so forth, um, that's what happened. He got fuck all votes, and now he's booted off over to America. Um, and I just, you know, I just, I, I, I really, I really feel sorry for him. <laughs> but here's a, uh, here's one of my favourite memes from the period that I made. Um, what a funny guy, the Tramadol King. We'll never forget him. Come back, you fucking traitor. Couple months on and we of yelling at racist dogs um, organised just as bad for the 2019 Melbourne Fringe Festival, which I, I believe is the first Australian and perhaps even the world's first, I would love to be corrected on this if I'm wrong by the way, so please hit me up, the world's first live stage show by an actual anti-fascist group. I don't know, I don't know. Um, I don't think that includes actual gigs by bands, but I do think, I mean, we did a theatre comedy show and I'm not sure an actual anti-fascist sort of organised group has ever done anything like that anymore. As I say, um, I feel pretty proud about that, but please correct me if I'm wrong. For their upcoming event at Melbourne's Fringe Festival. Hmm, that gets me thinking, you know? I wonder how those brave, tough men would handle if, let's say, some opposition were to rock up. I don't know. Who knows? But then he didn't rock up, and that was really funny, um, and a bit of a shame because we'd, uh, you know, we're really hoping he would. I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, then the blockade of IMARC, the mining conference, rolled by, and it was fucking hectic. <laughs> Red 
Lots of cops were absolute fucking dogs and some of them were doing little alt-right hand gestures and some of them had stickers saying he did dick hippie on their body cams and it was loose and they loved the pepper spray and the police horses and they were extremely fucking violent. Um, but Vic Pulse said they'd done nothing wrong and that one of the coppers, Travis Gray, hadn't done an alt-right hand gesture. So then I leaked some stuff showing that he did do an alt-right hand gesture in context. And then they did a backflip, and they said sorry, and they said they were reopening their investigation, which was really funny, because we all like to make fucking Vic Pol do backflips, don't we? Left-wing activist Tom Tanuki was at the protest. Some of us, um, myself and some anti-fascist researchers. That was me having a chat to ABC News about the subject of Travis Gray. Um, and in response to that, Andrew Bolt talked about me for the second fucking time this year. But note well the one that I've singled out from that report, Tom Tanuki, because I will come back to him. He even got in someone from Sovereign Hill to talk about me. This is someone who runs the boiled lolly shop in Sovereign Hill in Ballarat. But it was an excellent opportunity to finally reveal the truth, which I and a number of others did in a video I released um, a little over a month ago. Here's uh, my mate Jambi Supreme um, admitting to, to, to this shocking revelation. I actually paid paid Andrew Bolt. Um, not much, you know, I was a few steak dinners, probably, in his world. And yeah, look, that's been some of the highlights of my um, 2019. There's been a shit ton more than that, I'm sure of it, but that's just going through some of the stuff that I can show you here. I suppose apart from that, there's been a lot of talking about how much I dislike must sticks because they're shit and uh, baked potatoes because they're shit and anything Bundaberg rum branded because it's just a fucking travesty um, and offering uh, top fans of my page wristies, um, which, you know, they've received and they can all confirm that they've received to a deadline uh, every Friday and to the detriment only of the quality of my, my wrist. Oh, and by the way, the first dog of the moon did a, 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 an excerpt from one of his cartoons and, he, and he, he put a little dude in a yard shirt and that was really cute. So I just want to thank everyone. Um, thank all of my comrades in anti-fascism um, and, and in activism for what's been, I think, a year in which um, the most notorious or the most prominent new activist movements by far, I think, have been left-leaning, particularly as the year progressed. And, and I think it spells, spells, you know, it speaks of change for the future. Um, so I would really stay tuned. And I would love it if you all stay tuned to my shit specifically, because next year I've rearranged my personal affairs and I've um, freed up a lot more of my time so that I can become much more of a full-time pest. And that's what I'm going to fucking do. I will be the pest of your nightmares. Or your dreams, as the case may be. And if I am the pest of your dreams, then I would ask if you could please sponsor me on Patreon. Chuck a couple of clams at me, that is. Um, if you enjoy the shit that I do, if it makes you think, if it makes you laugh, um, please uh, uh, chuck me a clam or two on Patreon. Um, because I can promise you, I ain't fucking done yet! Watch out!